up you guys welcome back to my channel i am hannah also known as slaterella let's go ahead and get started on this glam with a touch of gore halloween tutorial all right guys let's go ahead and get right on into this look seriously this look is so easy yep look at that spray tan girl get your life together so this makeup tutorial was definitely inspired by Jaclyn Hill's tutorial that she did last year where it's very glam but with a touch of gore and girl I am all about that. So the first thing that I did was I went ahead and started off with some full coverage foundation because girl even though we got rotting bloody flesh around our mouth we still need to be on point and you know I am not creasing on Halloween so definitely going to set everything with a powder. Next thing I'm going to do is cut out the cheekbones, warm up the face a little bit, and for this I just actually mixed a little bit of bronzer with some contouring powder and it just made a really good overall warm look. After that I went ahead and warmed up my cheek a little bit more with a orange toned blush. For the fall you guys, seriously, orange blushes are like everything. And you know, even though we got rotting flesh on our face, girl, we are still going to be glowing to the gods. Don't you love how I highlighted my cupid's bow even though I'm going to cover it up? So the first thing that I did was I went ahead and started to make everything real glowy in my eyes. I didn't want the eye look to be real intense. I wanted to kind of focus more on the glowiness of it. And just kind of defining my crease a little bit, do a heavy wing, heavy lashes. So I started off by warming up my crease with a little bit of a warm toned, almost like a mustard yellow brown color. And then I did a little bit of a darker orange just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension, a little bit of depth. I really don't like when girls do just heavy wings with no definition into the crease. I just have a tendency of feeling like that looks a little harsh. So even though we want it to be majority of focusing on the wing, you still want to maintain a little bit of warmth in your eyes. I went ahead and smoked out my lower lash length. Girl, what is a makeup tutorial from me without a little bit of a warm lower lash line? Seriously, I can't not do it. And then I actually went in with a little bit of a darker cool tone brown and just kind of blended it in a little bit more but I wanted to keep that color more towards the outer edge just to kind of give it more of that cat lifted winged look and then I took a powder foundation and actually just put that right on my lid so now we are going to go ahead and wing everything out now to get on with the mouth First thing that I did was I went ahead and started off with a little bit of liquid latex and then I just took some Kleenex, ripped it up into strips, kind of rolled everything, twist everything, and just started layering it onto my face. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is put a layer of liquid latex down, tissue, liquid latex, and just keep building from there. There is no right or wrong way on how to do this. You just do whatever feels right. And what's nice about this liquid latex and this Kleenex is if it doesn't feel right, just remove it and put it in a different place. That's all you gotta do. And I wanted this look to kinda have that zombie look, like a fresh, like, girl, I just bit into somebody with my zombiness. I feel like, you know, gory things can be beautiful. So again, just take your time, figure out what you want this to look like. After that, I went ahead and write, you gotta find the right time to do this. And what I kind of did was when I started ripping this up, it was at that point where it was kind of dry where I could touch it and it wasn't really sticky anymore, but it still was wet. And that was like the perfect time where I could move it, but kind of stick it and get it into place a little bit better. And then I went over it again with another layer of liquid latex. Now, before you start doing anything, make sure you let this dry. And while this was drying, I actually just curled my hair. It took about 15 minutes. And then I went over it with my regular foundation. If you do not let this dry, girl, you can kiss that brush goodbye because you are going to ruin it. Went ahead and just touched up my bronzer where I maybe lost it when I was reapplying that foundation. And let's go ahead and start painting this. So the first thing that I went ahead and did was I took a mixture of purple and red and black and started just kind of bouncing that on this area 
and then I went in with a little bit of a more intense red color and all I'm using is one of those cheap cosmetic sponges where you can get a pack of like 50 at the dollar store and just really took my time now because they are water activated what's really nice about them is you can actually just wet your finger if you feel like there's a line that's too harsh and actually just kind of blend it out which is what I did after that I just took some black on this little paintbrush that they actually gave me in the kit and just kind of started going in areas where I wanted this to appear a little bit darker a little bit deeper because where it's gonna be dark is where it's gonna look like there's emptiness or nothing there and that's what I wanted it to be now because this is just a cheap water activated paint it did have a little bit of a shine to it which I didn't like and even when I tried to matte it down with some matte eyeshadow it actually didn't really work so I would suggest if you do this I mean you want those areas to look hollow just use a really matte shade next I just took a deeper red and I actually just kind of mixed this red with black just to kind of again give that look of it being kind of bloody and it just really gives it an overall really gory appearance now you don't need to be real precise with this cuts wounds are all organic shapes if you make it too perfect it's not gonna look right just take your time this is all fun you know, when I started this, I didn't know how I wanted it, and I just kind of did my thing, and I'm really happy how it turned out. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is get that wound nice and bloody. This is just stage blood. I actually wish I would have had a little bit of clotted blood instead of the stage blood, because I feel like clotted blood just looks a little bit better. Yes, girl, get your selfie on. I actually added a little bit more blood. I like to take pictures while I'm doing this, just to see how things look. If I need to add more, if I need to take away, stuff like that. And I definitely needed more. What's a Halloween look without a, you know, ton of blood? You know we can't be a zombie without our big hair, guys. So tease that hair up to the gods. I did decide, again, to add a little bit more blood. It's Halloween, you gotta have that gore. And then I actually wanted the appearance of it running down my face as well, so I went ahead and added that going down my neck. Lots and lots of blood. But that completes this look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you recreate this. Hopefully you guys have a good Halloween. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I will catch you guys in my next video.